Hey guys, welcome to episode number 88. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And I've got three things to share today. The first is uh, actually an apology um, for not posting any videos last week. Um, I was on vacation, so um, sorry that you guys missed out on a week of updates and fun projects and things like that. But I'm back now, and I should be on uh, my regular schedule here with uh, Update Mondays, DIY Wednesdays, and Fan Fridays. So that brings me to the second thing I have here real quick, and uh, that's a pair of scissors. Um, these mangroves are getting uh, fairly tall here. If you'll see, you know, with the roots starting down here, uh, some of them are two and a half, three feet tall even. And uh, these are larger than uh, most refugiums can even um, handle um, if this say was your reef tank um, and that's what a lot of people use mangroves for um, you've only got probably like two feet to work with underneath here uh, if, if that's where you're, you're keeping your refugium with uh, plants in it so uh, one thing I wanted to do here in the name of science is to uh, cut a couple of these plants um, cut the growing tips off of a couple of these plants and then uh, I'll just monitor them over the next few weeks, uh, probably post a couple more videos over the next few weeks to just uh, see what happens uh, with them. I definitely have enough of them here that I can experiment a little bit to see um, you know, where the best place to cut would be and uh, what that kind of results in. Um, so I guess uh, what I'll probably do here is uh, just get cutting. Um, I want to select a plant that looks nice and healthy, and I think this is a good candidate here. Uh, it's not too tall, not too short. Uh, it's got its first pair of leaves down here. I'll leave those alone. Uh, but then it's got uh, one, one pair of leaves here, and then directly after that it's got another pair of leaves. Uh, and then it's got the growing tip up here. So between these four good leaves up here, uh, this plant should be able to survive if I cut this growing tip off. Uh, so I think that's what I'm gonna do here is to just uh, cut that growing tip and um, we'll see what happens with that one there. But uh, the growing tip is now gone from that one. It didn't show any signs of uh, splitting here um, like this one has. You'll, you'll notice there are three growing tips uh, on this one now. Uh, I am gonna leave that one alone because that's the furthest a long plant that I have um, and I think I'm gonna leave this one alone too because it's it's actually the, the tallest one that I currently have uh, but I do want to uh, test this out on, on a few more so what I'll probably do this one's got four good leaves two sets of good leaves um, I want to test this out on a couple of other plants here um, this one actually has uh, three sets of good leaves uh, one down here, one here, one here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the growing tip here as well. So now I've got two plants in my experiment. Um, so I guess uh, the third one that I'd want to do here for an experiment is to just find one that has one set of, of good leaves and, uh, and cut that one as well. Um, so I'm looking for a good candidate here. Um, that one's not that great of, of an option. I want something that's going to get plenty of sunlight. Maybe this one here, actually. Maybe I'll, I'll do uh, this one here. So we've got the, the first set here that aren't true leaves. And then we've got uh, two leaves here, um, which are fairly, fairly good. And then we've got uh, two big leaves up here. And uh, this has shown a lot of good growth here recently. You'll see it's nice and green. Uh, so I'm just going to clip it down here, actually. And uh, we'll see what happens. So this one's got one set of good leaves. Uh, this one's got two sets. And then this one's got three sets. And they're all in the front, so I should be able to monitor those fairly well. So I'll see what happens with those. See if uh, that has any negatives. 
or positives here to the growth. I'm hoping that what it's going to do is um, they're going to maintain their health. Um, hopefully they don't go downhill. And uh, hopefully what they'll do is they'll just send out side shoots kind of like this over here, but just uh, further down uh, so that the plant stays smaller uh, and doesn't continue to grow upwards too far. But uh, that's the second thing there. And then uh, since it is a, a week or two later here, uh, I just wanted to share one last thing with you guys uh, for Update Monday. And uh, that is the, uh, the repair job that I did here um, on this 3D background. Uh, you'll recall they were biting at it. And I did repair it um, with uh, five or six coats of dry lock. And I'm happy to report that I haven't seen any signs of new damage to it. So it is in good shape. Um, all of the styrofoam um, has been sealed and, uh, and there's no new bite marks on it. So hopefully that means they're done biting the background. Uh, but even if they aren't, uh, now you've seen how to repair it and uh, it didn't take that long. So hopefully that was just a fluke. Hopefully um, it was just a little bit of curiosity that's worn off. Um, but regardless, uh, the problem seems to be fixed for now. Um, so that's always good. Uh, the less the less work uh, to maintain that, the better. And uh, that really is my only bad uh, experience with this background. Um, and um, with the, the, the eight or nine turtles that have been through this tank, uh, there are six in here now. So, um, yeah, I think it was just the one, the one turtle. Uh, so, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll keep you up to date on uh, those mangroves, and uh, if I do see any damage uh, that starts to appear here. Um, but other than that, that's about all I have for today. Um, I, I would like to kind of tease uh, episode number 100, which is fast approaching. Uh, this is, um, you know, maybe a couple weeks away from, from episode 100. And uh, what I plan to do there is just uh, to basically interview myself and, uh, you know, let you guys know a little bit more about me and uh, my life and where I grew up and what I'm about and uh, how I got into the hobby. And uh, I think everyone's got a great story about how they got into the hobby, but uh, that's what you can look forward to. Uh, for episode number 100, it's going to be uh, probably a little bit longer uh, special episode, and uh, yeah, I've got to start collecting my thoughts together uh, for that, but for now, that's all I've got. See you guys later.